Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Whitney Labrie and today we are going to make some little tiny carrot cakes. Now before we get started, I wanted to show you this table that I found. This is a wooden table over at the 99 cent store for $1.29. <laughs> I really thought that this was super cute. It's slightly too tall for 12 scale, so I'm gonna cut it down, but we're gonna go ahead and put that aside for now, and we are gonna talk about carrot cake. For today's carrot cake, I will be making it out of polymer clay. The amount of polymer clay I'm going to use is this amount right here, this little ball that looks just like a Whopper, <laughs> but tis the season, right? A lot of Whoppers being eaten this time of year. So I used two colors of polymer clay. I used a caramel color or caramel, depending on where you live. And I really just use a very, very small amount of mustard polymer clay to give it a little bit of more of an orange color, like a malt ball. For those of you don't know I'm still pretty new to polymer but I'm completely obsessed with them and so the cake we're gonna make today is gonna be my very first carrot cake ever not my first cake but my first carrot cake for the cream cheese icing and center filling I'm using a combination of white polymer clay and literally a very little amount of yellow just to give it a cream color however if you have cream polymer clay that would be the way to go too I just didn't have that so that I kind of had to create my own so I'm dividing up my little malt ball here into two equal portions. I'm rolling them out and I'm gonna squish them down to make little pancakes, thick pancakes. And then I'm gonna take a little bit, maybe like a pea size of the white, the cream cheese, and I'm gonna make another circle and that's gonna be the icing in the center of the two cakes. Once I have that, I will go ahead and stack them. And then right now they just kind of look like a cream filled cookie, which sounds delicious right now also. So I'm just making sure that those are nice and pushed together, squished together a little bit. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take the rest of that polymer clay, I'm gonna roll it out. Now, if you've ever worked with fondant, that's kind of what this is going to feel like. I'm gonna roll that out to a nice thin amount. I'm gonna lay that over my little cake and just mold it around the carrot cake portion, the cake portion of it, until it's fairly smooth. I don't want it to be really, really smooth because I do want it to look like it was, you know, that it's actual real icing that was put on there by like a little spatula or something. But I am, I do want it to have a nice cover. I do want it to be completely covered. And so I'm just gonna kind of mold it around. You can see here that I'm just molding it and making sure that it's got full coverage. All right, and then once I'm comfortable with the way that that looks and that it's fully covered, I'm taking this little spatula right here. It's actually for paint mixing. I'm using it to go around and make, and I'm putting little indentations into the cake to make it look like it was actually icing that was put on by a little butter knife or a spatula. All right, and because this is my first carrot cake and maybe your first carrot cake, I'm not gonna get really crazy with how I'm gonna decorate it. Although when I was looking online, there's so many pretty, carrot cake decorating options like this one where they did the little cake carrots all over and then this one where they did like the like that's probably maybe chocolate it's like, like a shaved carrot look which I thought was fabulous and then this one of course is a more traditional looking with the little carrots all the way around the edge and then this one I thought was super cute because it looks like the carrots are stuck into the cake. Love that look, love that look. I am just going to do a rope border on the top and bottom and then I'm just gonna do one simple little carrot right in the middle. And then my assumption is once I've done this one, I will probably want to do others. And then once I feel comfortable with the way I've done it, I will probably do more that are a little bit more intricate and a little bit more detailed. This is a really good starting point. So to make the rope edging on the top and bottom, I'm taking more of that cream cheese colored polymer clay and I'm just going to roll out two ropes push those together at the top and then I'm just going to start twisting them together and of course the tighter you make it the smaller the rope will appear And then I'm just gonna wrap that around the top of my cake and cut it loose. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. All right, for the carrot, obviously I'm just going to use some orange polymer clay and just shape it like a little carrot, a little cone. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of green polymer clay as the little carrot leaf. 
And that's really as detailed as I'm going to get with the actual carrot cake decorating. Now, I do like to have a cake slice out of all of my cakes. I think that's really fun. And so I am going to go ahead and cut out one little slice of cake, a nice chunk actually. And then what I'll do is I'm going to start making it appear as though the interior is more like a bread consistency because right now it's quite smooth as you can see. And the way I'm doing that is I'm just taking my pin here and just poking a whole bunch of holes, a whole bunch of micro holes in the bread. I'm going to do the full slice on both sides, including the icing too, because I kind of want to make that a little bit more realistic looking on the inside because of course it wouldn't be in a perfect icing layer. It would have a little bit of a texture consistency. And then once that's complete, I'll also do the interior portion of the cake itself. And then I want to have a little bit of added orange flux inside the cake slice to look as though there's carrot pieces in there. So I did chop up some polymer clay in these micro little flakes and then i'm using the head of my pen to just kind of place those in sporadically on the cake slice itself and also the interior of the cake and i do need to add a little bit more holes and texture to the cake it looks like too so i'll go ahead and continue to do that and then basically that's the carrot cake itself and i'll go ahead and bake that and while that's baking, what I want to do now is grab my dollar store table and I'm going to cut it down using my little miter shears here. This table is uh, over three inches and a typical table height in a 12 scale is about two and three quarters inches tall. So I'm just cutting it down to those measurements. And then just, we're going to do all carrot stuff today, you guys. So I'm going to take my green paint and some orange paint and I'm going to paint my table out like carrot colors here with the orange base and the green top now this is quite bright very fun just like this i would have done another coat on the top if i was going to keep it this color but i do want to do a little bit of a white wash over the top so i'm not letting that paint fully dry because i want a little bit of my white to mix in with the paint i just think that looks really good so i'm just taking my white and i'm going to go ahead and do a wash right on over it letting some of that orange and some of the green kind of mix in with the white so that the white is also not pristine either. And then I will let that table fully dry at this point because now I'm gonna use it to decorate. Now my niece for Christmas sent me all of these little dishes and these are actually not a scale that I typically use. These are a six scale or like a play scale, but some of them are big enough where they could be more like a serving platter rather than regular dishes. So I have a little plastic bowl and then this plate and I'm gonna glue them together to make a small cake plate. And I think that's gonna work for my carrot cake once it's all nice and cooled down. And I will use the other plate for the slice and I'll just add a fork to it and I think that's gonna work. Now, another decorative item that I found when I was at the dollar store were these super cute bottle brush little carrots. <laughs> and they came in a whole bunch of different sizes. I really didn't know what I was going to use them for, but they're just so stinking cute. So I'm going to use these as table decoration. And they had taller ones here, and I thought this would be cute next to it. Then I'm going to add a basket. I've got all these little polymer clay carrots, so we're going to fill up that basket. And then I found this little... Let's call it, it's probably glitter, but I don't know. For this application, we're just gonna call it special carrot potion. <laughs> and we'll put that in the basket also. And then I featured these little bunnies on my haul show recently. And so I had a couple sets and so I wanted to use one for myself. But this little bunny, I forgot he was carrying this carrot in his hand. And so I thought, absolutely, I need to use this. Maybe one of them is smelling the fresh carrots. And then this is a resin welcome sign for probably like an Easter bunny village. But of course, with the carrots, I had to use them. So I'm gonna include that in our design today. And then the third bunny I'll put down at the bottom. Maybe waiting for his friends to throw him down a little slice of that carrot cake. All right, now let me add a little piece of uh, some silverware. I've got a little fork. We'll do a little butter knife. 
there and then voila i mean simple easy and just a quick little easter or spring setup here for you to enjoy all right and then here i've got it out in my garden some close-ups here really love the way that this turned out i think it was just a nice afternoon project that any of you can do let me know what you think hope that you enjoyed this video today i know it was a short one <laughs> i am working on many other projects right now and so i'm hoping to bring you guys uh, some really fun and and longer content in the next few weeks. Here is the table and all of its goodies set up with last year's Easter project and then an Easter dinner, a traditional Easter dinner that I purchased online. So thank you so much for being here, you guys. Again, hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so so you don't miss any future content. You guys have a wonderful, beautiful weekend and I will see you next time. Bye!